is so sad. I just filmed the whole first half of this video and I forgot to turn the camera on. I'm such an idiot. Okay, now I see the camera's on. I'm shooting this video. I'm very excited about this video because I finally got my long awaited sit stand electric treadmill desk along with my treadmill for the electric sit stand desk. It's a fantastic product, which I wish I had purchased many, many years ago. So the walking treadmill I got is from Rebel Desk. It's a Rebel 1000 treadmill. I think it's a gorgeous treadmill. I just think it's aesthetically very pleasing to look at the colors and it just looks very modern and clean and fresh. Okay, I just took my dirty shoes off and these are my brand new clean flip flops. I just don't wanna get my dirty outdoor shoes on this brand new treadmill because I'm kind of an anal clean freak. And to be honest, this treadmill goes so slow. I normally just walk very slowly barefoot. And when I need to stand, I put these on to stand. And you know, once I renovate my condo, the whole floor is being torn up, every inch of it's being torn up, the kitchen wall is being knocked down, everything's getting gutted. And once my condo is renovated, I'm no longer gonna be wearing my outdoor shoes in my home, because I am kind of more European in that sense, where you know, in Scandinavia, for example, everyone takes their shoes off before they go into your home. They just, they just don't run around with their outdoor shoes all over the place. So everyone takes their shoes off at the front door. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So I don't want to get this treadmill filthy with my outdoor shoes. The belt on this treadmill is pretty nice and smooth. And since, you know, I'm not jogging or anything, so it's perfectly comfortable to walk this slowly barefoot and actually I just love being barefoot and you know this treadmill only goes up to two miles per hour and you know the average person sits 10 hours a day that that's mind-boggling how many hours of sitting that is you know it's so unhealthy and unfortunately going to the gym for two hours a day it just doesn't make up for that high volume of sitting, constant sitting, and you know, after sitting for 20 plus years in front of the computer for hours and hours on end every single day, it's completely messed up my, my lower back, my shoulders, my neck, even when I'm sitting in correct posture, it's just, you know, it's just too much sitting and the humans are, you know, meant to move, to walk, not just to sit or stand or stand in one spot. So this has made a tremendous difference, like huge. I wish I had invested in this a long time ago. And it's quite simple to type when you're walking. I thought it was gonna be difficult, but since, you know, I bought this thing, which is great, you know, it gives my uh, shoulders some support. So yeah, I can just, you know, rest my arms on this. And then I, I go like this, but you know, I can just rest my arms here and then type. But this whole area I have to redo. So this is not going to be here. It's a, this is just kind of a mess right now. So I'm just showing you the beginning stages of my office being revamped. This is not the final, final uh, arrangement of my little work area. But I love this thing. It's so great. And I'll show you how the fastest piece it goes to, which is two miles an hour. So this is the fastest pace this treadmill goes at. It's two, I'm walking two miles per hour right now. But normally I don't walk this fast, you know, when I'm typing and stuff, because I don't think I can type when I'm walking this fast two miles per hour. Now I'm walking 0.5 miles per hour. So this is like a super slow, walking like a turtle so you can walk as fast or as slow as you want so from 0.5 to 2 miles per hour is the range of this thing and you know walking this slow anyone can type <laughs> anyone it's very easy but normally i walk 0.8 or 1 mile per hour is the the speed i normally work on and then of course if i'm feeling tired or i feel like i need to really concentrate for example, I'm editing a video right now on, on for a YouTube video, and I need to be more precise. Then I slow it down to 0.5 this slow, and that way I can do more you know precise things. So here's my 72 inch electric sit stand desk, and right now I have the treadmill on the right, and here on the left, when I need a break, because I, I am going to have to sit every now and then to take a break, I'm going to have my office chair on the left. 
And then of course my treadmill is gonna be on the right side. And here I'm editing a, a YouTube video, as you can see. And here's the console for the treadmill. And of course, this is just temporary. Uh, I just had to temporarily find a way to raise this keyboard. So I'm gonna be replacing this with something else that's not a yoga knee pad. <laughs> this is just a temporary kind of solution I threw together so I can more ergonomically work in the interim until I get the proper stuff. I'm trying to arrange it so that I don't want to be typing with a broken wrist because you know whenever you're typing like with your wrist up like this, that's a broken wrist and you're putting yourself at risk for stressing your highly delicate finger ligaments and you don't want to get carpal tunnel syndrome because that would, that would really be bad. So I'm trying to arrange it so that my wrist is always straight when typing rather than broken. It's another reason why I like this keyboard because you know it's super slim. So my wrists are never in a broken position. It's always in a more ergonomic position. This is so funny. Just as I was talking about getting a, a shorter version of this guy, this came in the mail. So this is basically the same exact keyboard as this one, except it doesn't have this annoying, you know, numpad on the on the right. But the reason I didn't like this keyboard is I always felt off center because of all this stuff on the right, which I, I never even use these to be honest. So this one is just far more logical for me because now I can actually fit my mouse here whereas using this keyboard I could not because that was just way too long. So I'm, I'm very happy I got this more compact keyboard because it definitely works far better for my ergonomic kind of thing where I like to be center of the keyboard. So, so that's my mouse. And I love this mouse, it's great. It's one of my favorite mouse mice. It works on any surface, it works on glass, anything at all. It's the Logitech Anywhere MX mouse, I believe it's called. It's great, I love this thing. And this is what I use. This table goes, this desk goes up to 47 inches high. And I just push this button. And now it's gone way down to 27 inches. Yeah, I'm gonna put this a little, I'm gonna put this back up. And it goes pretty fast. And the cords are still a huge mess back here. I've, I've made a huge improvement. I bought this off of Amazon and I love this thing because it I tucked all the cords back in here. And of course, all this mess back here, this is all gonna be tucked into the arm. And this is a little modification I made to my desk. This is just a temporary clamp. And of course, this is a grommet. I have to cut the grommet hole out where I'm gonna put some cords for more organized cords. And this is just, like I said, this is just a temporary clamp holding my modification. This, all this has to be fixed. And I'm gonna be taking this and securing this to this. But the reason why I built that modification to my desk which is because the monitor was sitting way too close to my face. I, I wasn't able to push it back far enough if I, you know, install the monitor arm onto the desk. So since I extended the desk by building a little platform deck, I guess you could say, which enables me to push the monitor further back from my face because I, I couldn't stand the monitor being so close to my face and that was the only way I could get the monitor to go further back from my face. This is the monitor arm that worked the best out of all the monitor arms I tried because I spent weeks doing research and I tried numerous monitor arms and this one, because this monitor arm, when I switch from walking to sitting, you know, I just easily go like, and it's perfectly in the middle. Now I'm on the left, it's perfectly in the middle. And then when I have to go back to walking, you know, I just go like that. And the other monitor arms were never perfectly in the middle. The arm was sticking out and hitting the wall back there. It just wasn't, wasn't working as nicely as this monitor arm. So now that I built that little 
deck modification of my desk, this monitor arm works perfectly how I want it. It's perfect distance for my face. So this monitor arm was the winner out of all the ones I tried, which was a lot, a lot of arms I tried. So here's a close up of the arm. It's from Ergotron. It's the low profile MVX monitor arm. I, I absolutely love this thing. It's, it's great. And you, you can adjust the height of the monitor. You can lower it as low as you want it to go. You can tilt the monitor 360 degrees. Of course, I have it locked so that I can't do that because I don't, I, don't, you know, I don't need that feature. So yeah, this treadmill is life-changing. I Honestly, I wish I had gotten it sooner because it's, it's worth every single penny. I know it's definitely expensive, but the reality is that I literally could not get any work done. So it, it was pretty much unbearable for me to sit anymore from the lower back pain, the shoulder pain, and it was just, I, I couldn't work. So in order for me to continue even doing my job, I had to invest in this kind of a, a electric 60 and desk where I could, you know, walk at a very slow pace and that made a tremendous relief on my lower back, my shoulders, and then this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, this little um, rest here, forearm rest, which made a huge difference for my shoulders. It's just, it's incredible. And, you know, like I said, the average person sits for 10 hours a day. Like, how crazy is that? And, you know, unfortunately, going to the gym for a couple hours, two hours a day is simply, it just doesn't make up for that many hours and hours and hours of sitting it's just it doesn't work that way unfortunately because we're meant to we're meant to move or to walk and move and when you're sitting like that for that many hours a day even six seven eight hours a day it's just uh, eventually it's going to catch up to you <laughs> and it definitely did to me so now i can actually get some work done and it's just so much more pleasant and it's i found it's a lot easier for me to walk when rather than standing still well, I don't want this video to get too long. I felt like, like I'd share with you guys this um, amazing life-changing product I got. And of course they have various different kinds of electric stand desks. And it is definitely expensive, but when you think about the investment on your health, like there's really nothing more valuable on this entire world than your health because even if you're a gazillionaire, if you don't have your health, you honestly don't have anything. <laughs> like. And you know, life is so, so short and you want to get the most out of it. You don't want to be dealing with any preventable diseases or any elements or pain and stuff like that. That's, you know, fully preventable. So just take care of your body, you know, that way you can die from old age. You're not suffering from all these preventable things. I love it. I'm happy with this stuff. So if you're suffering from any back pain or shoulder pain and, or stuff like that, and I would highly consider trying to invest in uh, some form of electric sit-stand desk with some kind of a treadmill. They have cheaper electric sit-stand desks than this one. I just, I just bought a huge one. You, you don't have to get one quite this large. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll show you guys my final revamped workstation when it's done because this, this is definitely not complete yet. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. A long, long time ago This is the time of the apocalypse The dream of the last